like analyzing the text, then you can go to your own situation. What is this text telling me now? You know? So what did we take up in the in the past ano, lectures? See, ano, si Father Barrow talked about the kingdom of heaven. Hindi nga rin ginagamit ni Matthew ang kingdom of God. Kasi nga, hey, he did not like to mention the word uh, God. So, uh, kingdom of heaven, which is the same as kingdom of God. So, he spoke to us about chapter 5. Actually, the Sermon on the Mount is chapter 5, 6, and 7. He, he spoke to us about chapter 5. No? So, the first part of chapter 5 deals with the Beatitudes. Be attitude. And then he said, actually, there's only one beatitude. Yeah, the beatitude of the poor, which could be seen in the other beatitudes as well. No? So when you read that, what is this telling me? Kahit isang beatitude lang. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Question, bakit may spirit pa? Bakit kay, kay look, wala? Blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Bakit meron pang in spirit? Anong ibig sabihin nito? You can ask questions even if you don't have the answers. And then to your ano, to your students, in my discovery as a teacher for 43 years, I discovered that when you are honest about your answer, the more the students respect you. Do not pretend to know what you do not know. When I do not know, I say, I do not know. That is your assignment. Oh, mom, you can says you you look for it or let us look for the answer together again especially with regards to to the Bible when I was teaching languages English and Tagalog ano lang puta ako sa klase mo lang ano wala wala ka talaga lang kasi ano naman na sa sabi ni give me sentence what sentence I eat and I go okay I eat and I go where's the subject the predicate the direct object okay come and yun diagram on the board another sentence faster faster Eh, hindi siya makaisip. I ate another mango ma. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> mo naman magpagalitan kasi tama naman yung kanya na answer. No? So what word did you add? Another. What part of speech is another? Ganyan lang. Kahit na wala kang kadala-dala. Ang dami mo. Ano? What is an abstract now? Ah, Ma'am, you said something you cannot say. Eh, give an example. Yung, um, na, hindi, tinignan yung damit ko. Eh, sabi niya, yung chimis mo ma. <laughs> o nga naman, kasi yung kamisong mo, hindi naman nakikita. Eh. Yun naman kasi ang explanation mo, something you cannot see, abstract now. <laughs> yung mga gano'n, so, enjoy ko din naman. Kaya lang, when I started teaching the Bible, I started teaching yung ganito. Ano eh, nakakonsensya ako, hindi ka pwede papasok sa klaso na hindi ka nagbasa, o kaya hindi ka nagdasal. Kasi hindi mo yan trabaho. At yan ang nakakahumaning dito sa trabaho natin, brothers and sisters. Kasi we rely on the work of the Holy Spirit. At kung wala siya, paano ka, how can you proceed? We have to pray and we have to ask the help na tulungan mo ako dito. Hindi ko ito trabaho, trabaho mo. Ano? Ako lang yung bunganga mo. Alam mo, ano, lips or ano. Oh, 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 my lips. But use my lips, use my hands. Hindi talaga ako papasok pag ano, pag hindi talaga ako ready, alibaba na puyat na lang ako, mag-absent na lang ako. Sabi ko sa principal, I'm not feeling well. Which is true naman, I'm not feeling well kasi hindi nga ako handa eh. So, <laughs> <laughs> you have to be prepared with that. You have to really to be prepared. And he said, kaya si, ano, si, si Pope Francis, sabi niya, please prepare yung homilis. At uh, kasi, Yung ano, yung homily ng mga pare, katulad din natin. Tignan mo naman yung, ang dami-dami mong references dito bago ko na-produce na ito, ano? Katulad din ng mga pare, mag-ano sila ng homily, ang dami, di, dami nilang ano, references bago sila mga uh, gawa ng ano, ng maganda talagang homily. Kaya kasabi ko, dagdagan nyo naman yung mga ilalagay nyo doon, dagdagan nyo yung sakin, yung kamunti ni Father, dagdagan nyo. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi malaki trabaho yan talaga. At saka hindi... Hindi, ano, the, the ideas do not just come. Sometimes you have to laboriously, you know, use your mind to be able to come up with the, the correct things to say in that particular... There will be no time to do that, but anyway, uh, some pictures. Okay. Right. Let us have an exercise of what we call the Jewish method. The Jewish method of studying scripture. 
we uh, said while ago the word that we use is excavate. Excavating the word using Jewish sources and methodology. All right, we start with the Peshat. The Peshat is what we call the, the uh, raw verse, what you see in the text. That is the Peshat. I will not deal with that. Okay, so I will deal with this, the Jacob story. Uh, the names that I use here are uh, the Hebrew names found in the Hebrew Bible. So, why do I use this version? Because it is guided by the principle that the Hebrew Bible, like much of the literature of antiquity, was meant to be read aloud. When you go to read in front, the first reading or whatever you read, read it loud and clear because that's a ministry. All the things that we read now, originally, they were oral. So if the people do not understand, I would say it's a sin. Because you're supposed to proclaim the word of God and then they don't understand. This is the reason why after Verbum Domini, many parish priests spend a lot for a sound system. Meron pang visual aid, meron pang sa katedral, lahat may ano doon. Kasi, the word of God is meant to be heard. According to Bishop Ambo, mas malaki, mas malaki pa nga yung ano, responsibility daw ng, uh, you know, yung biblical minister kaysa yung Eucharistic minister. Kasi yung Eucharistic minister magbukas ng kamay tapos magbigay uh, ng communion. Pero yung ano, biblical minister magbasa yan. Kailangan maintindihan mo, marinig mo. Nakita natin naman yung pagbasa ni Father kanina sa mesa. Hindi ka antukin talaga. Ang lakas-lakas. Tapos ano, uh, slow and uh, clear. Distinct. Uh, ganyan. So, the translation tries to mimic the particular rhetoric of the Hebrew whenever possible. Preserving such devices as the repetition, the allusion, the alliteration, and the word play. Ang ganda-ganda kasi sa Hebrew, pero pag i-translate mo, nawawala na yan. Kasi syempre, sa translation, hindi ma uh, hindi ma retain yung alliteration. Yung bang magka-tumma-tumma. Hindi na, kasi nawala na sa um, ano, translation. So, alright. So, ito yung peshat. Ito yung ating ano, pag-aaralan ngayon. Genesis 32:25. Open your Bibles to that part. Genesis 32:25. Take note na yung methodology natin kanina. Sinabi it's all it's always important to ask questions. Ask questions about the text and then look for the answers. So 32 verse 25. It's the same? Okay. Jacob was left alone. Ah, yung preceding text nito, kailangang magkasalubong sila ng kapatid niyang si? Hindi laban ang uncle niya. Esau. Si Esau kasi, no, was cheated by his brother, Jacob. And then the mother, Rebecca, said, Oh, your brother is going to kill you, so you better go to your uncle's house. That is si Laban. Ngayon, Laban had daughters, si ano, Leia, at saka itong si uh, uh, Rachel, uh, Leia and Rachel. Ngayon, na-attract siya kay Rachel, kaya sabi niya, pwede bang siya magpangasawa ko? Sabi ng uncle niya, eh di magsilbi ka ng pitong taon. O sige, pitong taon. Hmm, sampo. Hmm. Okay, so, manilbihan ka muna ng ilang taon. Alright, so nanilbihan siya. Ngayon, nung ikasal siya, syempre nakabelo yung babae. Pag, uh, pagkatapos ng kasal, pag uh, labas ng ganyan, si Leia pala, bakit hindi si Rachel? Ayan ang napala mo. Ah, wala ito sa kwento. Napala niya kasi he cheated his brother. Now he's the one cheated also. Anyway, sabi ng ano, 
ng angkel niya, alam mo naman na hindi pwede mag-asawa yung younger one kung hindi pa nakapag-asawa yung elder one. But the elder one had a slave and then uh, the younger one, si Rachel had a slave also. Ang slave ni, ni Rachel, si Bilha. Yung slave ni ano, Isilpa. Oh. Sa kanilang apat, nagkaroon ng anak si ano, si Jacob kaya and one daughter kaya nagkaroon ng 12 sons 12 sons ni Jacob pero bakit natin sinasabing 12 tribes of Israel dito sa ano na to papapalitan ang kanyang pangalan time came when he wanted to go home but he cannot go home without uh, interacting with his brother si Esau so eto na natulog siya doon sa may river na Yabok River Yabok River. So, uh, habang siya ay natutulog, ito yun na yung ano, ito yung nangyari. So, Jacob was left alone. Now a man wrestled with him until the coming up of dawn. Jacob was left alone and a man wrestled with him. Sana ba kasi laking kinig gamit? Ayan. Thank you. So, yung mga professors namin, ito yung founder ng uh, Batcall. Ito yung co-founder niyang brother din. Ito ay isang uh, rabbi doon sa Jerusalem na teacher namin. Kahit na sila ay mga teachers, whenever they come in contact with a difficult verse, they come together to ask questions together and to find the answers together. Believing that no one is that intelligent to study the Bible alone. You have to study it in group. So, yun yun yung training namin. So, kami naman, ako po yun, ano pa yung buong ko noon. Yes. Ay, siya. Ay, para ito yun. Ay, siya. Hindi, na-advertise ko talaga ang Batcall kasi maganda talaga ang training doon. Uh, and you are you are uh, subjected to, I mean, you are exposed to another way of studying the Bible and another way of thinking talaga. Hindi yung ano, program ka na ba na ganito yun. Uh, ewan ko kung bakit something in me all the time is resisting kung ganito ang istruktura, ganito, ganito. Kailangan niyo, wake up in the morning. Grade 2 pa lang ako, nilagay ako sa Good Shepherd. Good Shepherd ng, ano, ng parents ko. So, dormitory yun ng mga, walang mga magulang. Kaya may magulang ako, ba't ako nilagay dito? Para madisiplina daw ako. So, kiri! I wake up. And then, inaantok pa ako. Ay, tago ako doon sa ilalim ng kama. Where is Lucia? Kasi pinalitan yung pangalan ko doon. Where is Lucia? Lahanapin na naman ako. Kiri! I go to brush your teeth. Eh, sabi nila, brush your teeth na ganyan. Pero pag tignan mo yung madre, ganyan naman ang pagdata. <laughs> Inconsistent. Yung mga ganun ba na experiences ko na... <laughs> so, ano, tapos nag-dailig ako ng belo. Bagay ko bang mag-madre? Ay, hindi, hindi. Kasi yung ano, belo ng mga madre nun, parang mailit na bahay ba? <laughs> I will carry pa. So, anyway, we ask questions. So, yan. Marami kaming tanong tungkol sa kwento na yan. So, when he saw that he could not prevail against him, parang meron siyang ano, ano, kawai, he touched the socket of his thigh. The socket of Jacob's thigh has been dislocated when he wrestled with him. Okay? Okay. Then he said, let me go. The dawn has come up. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. What's your name? He said to him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. Jacob is his name. Then he said, not Jacob, his name. Shall your name henceforth be after? It will now be Israel or God fighter. For you have fought with God and men and have prevailed. So, question namin, was he alone? Was he not alone? Tulad ng fourth vehicle na pumasok dito sa Lasal, may kumakaway daw. Sabi ni Sir Lai, may eh, kasama ka ba? Sabi sa driver, wala ba? At isa ako dito. Ha! Eh, sino yung kumakaway? Tatlong nakakita may kumakaway sa fourth van. 
<laughs> Was it important for the writer to mention the time of the day? Why did he say dawn? Why is there a repetition of the socket of his thigh? What does it mean his thigh has been dislocated? Do you ask a blessing from an adversary? Why ask the name of your adversary only after a whole night of wrestling? Was this a dream? And then our, our teacher said, you're asking too many questions. Stop now. So we said, etc. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, start digging, sabi niya. So who is Jacob's adversary? That is the main question. Who is Jacob's adversary in this night's wrestling? So, a careful reading from a different text, from a different uh, Bible says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. And heart is lebab, with all your soul and with all your might. No? You shall love your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. Okay. The word heart has only one lamed. Lamed means L. No? Lebab. Only one bet. Bet means B. Heart is the double, heart is with double B in Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 5. Bakit ang spelling ng heart ay lebab ay isang B lang or isang V? Bakit in this particular text, dalawa, dalawa yung B. Uh, love God with all your heart. Lebab. Bakit sa ibang ano eh, it appears 55 times sa Torah Pentateuch itong double B. In another, in another, in other parts of the Bible, it appears 67 times. Pero, isa lang ang B. So, sabi ng ano, teacher namin, that is a signal for the excavation of the text. Excavate and try to find out why. So, the excavate. So, anong nahanap namin kay Rashi? Rashi is the most... Uh, uh, how do you call it? Intelligible, ba ang tawag doon? Siya yung pinaka-popular na commentator ng, ng mga ano, Hebrews. Mga, ano. So Rashi says, With all your heart means with both of your inclinations. Kaya dalawa yung B. Ha? Dalawa yung B. Ano ba yung inclinations na yon? You have the inclination to do good and the inclination to do evil. In one human being, there is the inclination to do good and there is the inclination to do evil. Okay. The heart in biblical tradition is the center of consciousness. Walang word na conscience sa Old Testament. But we have the word heart. Why? Because it is the word heart which is supposed to be the seat of consciousness, reasoning, decision making, and not just the seat of the emotions. But of course, the books will tell you it's the brain. So, based on ancient Midrashim, ancient stories of the Second Temple period, that when we notice Lebab, we remember that we are born with two inclinations. Uh, mali yung spend ko ng Lebab doon, dapat dalawang B. So, Rashi's interpretation is this. Lebab, in, dalawang B. Sa una ba o sa huli? Sa huli. Uh, sa B. Double B. Hindi, sa gitna. Sa gitna. Hindi pwede sa huli. Pero sa kanila, wala silang vowel. Kaya lang merong mga merong mga dot. Pag isang dot, letter I. Pag ganyan, letter I. Yung ganyan, meron silang mga uh, symbols that will uh, tell you whether it is an A or a B or a C. At saka sila, pag binabasa nila, pag ganyan pala, uh, they read it in context. So yung DVD, pwede yung type then David, but they have to read it in the context to find out whether it is a person that is being referred to or a verb. So, tuloy uh, natin. Every person is born with a yetzer hara and a yetzer ato. Yetzer hara is the tendency, the inclination to <coughs> do <laughs> evil. And yetzer hato is the tendency or the inclination to do good. How do we know that? Well, this is Rashi's interpretation from the Hebrew word heart with double B. Uh, 
The word good is anything that brings us closer to the divine. Yan yung nakita naming definition ng good. Ano ba yung tendency to do good, tendency to do evil? Yung tendency to do good, anything that brings us closer to the divine, closer to God. Evil, anything that separates us from the divine. At nakita namin na kahit yung word na nakash or serpent, no? has a distant midrashic relationship with the word separate or disconnect. No? Kaya serpent ang ginamit na ano doon sa mythology. Okay. So, Yetzer Hara, tendency to do evil. Yetzer Atom is a tendency to do good. The evil inclination which separates us from the divine has entered the human heart from the very beginning. No, yan siguro yung sinasabi natin, original sin. Which is interpreted today as, you are born, hindi yung, nako, nung grade 1 ako, yung heart, i -i drawing ng ano, teacher ko, tapos lagyan niya ng ano, white. E tapos pag mabaptize ka daw, matatanggal yung hindi. So, yung ganun ang understanding ng baptism noon. But now, we understand original sin to mean this. When we are born, we are born into a situation of sin. We are born in a sinful situation. So, our tendency will either be to align ourselves with a sinful situation or to align ourselves with the, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? With the values of the kingdom. So, that is why you have to make a choice. That is why in baptism, it says there, uh, do you renounce Satan? Ibig sabihin, saan ka ba talaga? Anong daan ang gusto mong tatahakin? Kasi ang daming daan. Dating daan, daang daan, tunay na daan. No? So, sasabihin mo, daan ni Cristo. So, do you promise to uh, renounce Satan and all sorts and all sorts? And the Godmother will say yes for the, for the child. Alright. So, and the Godfather also. So, paano natin alam yan? Nagagaling ba talaga sa Diyos yan? Now, we found out that in Isaiah 45, 47, and we found out from different versions, sabi dito, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. We are born that way by the Lord. He has given us the tendency to do evil and the tendency to do good because you have to make use of your freedom. Freedom to be with Him. Freedom to choose the good, not the evil. That is from the King James Version. From the New Revised Standard Version, we saw, I form light and create darkness. I make will and create who? I, the Lord, do all these things. In the International Version, it says also, I form the light and create darkness. I bring prosperity and create disaster. I, the Lord, do all these things. So, galing pala sa kanya yan. So, paano yan? These verses are a representation of Jacob wrestling with his own Yetzer Hara. So yung conclusion namin, ah, yung struggle pala ni, ano, ni Jacob is not with another person. It is a struggle from within. It is a struggle with his Yetzer Hara. No? With his evil inclination. Patatawarin mo ba yung kapatid mo? Hindi. No? Alright, so... Rabbinic sources interpret this text as Jacob's wrestling with his own tendencies toward evil. Yan ang sinasabi ng mga rabbis. The Talmud or the oral law teaches that Jacob is alone with himself. His struggle is his yetzer hara. From the Talmud, the written compilation of the oral Torah or Mishnah, and many of the rabbinic commentaries uh, agree with this. The Talmud teaches that Jacob is alone with himself. His struggle is with his own evil inclination. Through his free will, Jacob can conquer the evil inclination. So, nasa sa kanya na mag-struggle siya sa sarili niya. Nasa sa kanya na kung ma-overpower niya yung evil inclination sa sarili niya o hindi. And that will explain a lot of our, what we're taking up here. Kahit na anong gagawin mo, kung hindi mo naman mapalitan yung pag-iisip mo, kung hindi mo makangkar yung evil inclination mo, wala talagang mangyayari. Kailangan uh, ikaw mismo ang gagawa ng inyong paradigm shift. So, Jacob can return to union with Yahweh 
if he has overcome his uh, evil inclination. Ngayon, sunod na tanong namin, bakit yung sakit of the time? He crossed the ford of the Yabok, meaning to say the river Yabok. It was a belief in ancient times that rivers were infested with demons. It can therefore be inferred that at first, Jacob thought he was dealing with a river demon. Kasi ngayon ang ano, belief that time. In Hebrew, there is an assonance, parang ano, rhyming, with Yabok and Yabok. Yabok is the river, Yabok is a struggle. Kaya sa original, makita nyo yung assonance, yung pagiging ano. So, Jacob thought he was met by a demonic being who must not be seen and who therefore must live before sunrise. Until that moment arrives, Jacob is still his old self. He's struggling to emerge into a new moral consciousness that is according to another, another uh, commentary by Plout. As long as he assumes that his adversary is a demonic force, the old Jacob stands rooted in the past. It is only as the light breaks that he realizes it was not a demonic force, but God whom he resisted, the good in him. <coughs> When we say you are the image of God, God is in you, God is in me. Sa Indian sister, di ba? Namaste. Namaste. The good in you greets the good in me. Ganun ba yun? Or the God. The God in you greets the God in me and vice versa. Vice versa. Sa Baguio, mayroong mga chip niya. Tulad Trinidad and vice versa. Saan ka pupunta? Sa vice versa. Now he sees his own past and present struggle in the new life and asks his adversary for a blessing. Nakita na niya, ay ganito pala. Kaya humingi siya ng blessing sa God in him. So Jacob becomes Israel. May, may bagong pa, pamumulat. May bagong pananaw. May bagong identity. Wow, I have conquered the evil in me. Kaya, ang pangalan ko, Israel. Ang palayo ko noon, N-A-T-Y. Pero nung naging ano ako sa Bible, naging interested ako sa Bible, pinalitan ko na rin, N-A-T-I na. <laughs> so, Israel, you have struggled with God. Ang ibig sabihin ng pangalan niya, bagong pangalan niya, you have struggled with God, the good in you. You have struggled for God. Kasi when you struggle against the evil, you are struggling for God. So, the next verse, when he saw that he could not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his thigh. The socket of his thigh has been dislocated as he wrestled with him. <coughs> Anong ibig sabihin ng the socket of his thigh? The socket of his thigh is a euphemism in rabbinic writing to refer to the descendants of Jacob. Ah, uh, yeah, descendants of Jacob. Bakit socket of his thigh? Kasi malapit yan sa sexual organ. You don't like to be explicit. So gumamit sila ng euphemism. So tayo din, gumagamit tayo ng euphemism, di ba? Pamangkin ko, sabi ko, five years old, pag pumunta ka sa, ano, sa bathroom, uh, ugasan mo yung ano, bibing ka mo. <laughs> Tapos eto kinabukasan, bibing ka, bibing ka. <laughs> Ay, auntie, bakit nila pinagbibig? Ang kanilang bibing ka. <laughs> Mga euphemism. Huwag gamitin ang euphemism sa hindi nakakaintindi. <laughs> mga, uh, sa mga bata, literal ang nagamitin natin. So, with the elderly, nagagamitin ang mga euphemistic ano. So what's going to happen, so euphemism ito, socket of his thigh, is referring to the descendants through the male organ. Kaya very important sa kanila yung uh, uh, circumcision kasi nga very important sa kanila ang descendants. What is going to happen to Jacob is going to happen to his descendants. They will have to struggle between the good and the evil. They will have to make moral choices of whether or not they will align themselves with their evil tendencies or with their tendencies for the good. And that answers it all. That answers all our questions about, eh, bakit? Bakit? Eh, kasi nga, dalawa yung nature natin. Kahit na si St. Paul, sabi niya, 
Ah, gusto niya daw maalis yung thorn of the flesh na yan. Hindi ko alam kung anong thorn of the flesh na yan. Na marami na ang nagre-reserve niya. Wala naman nakabigay ng ano, correct answer or a very appropriate to ano to the taste of the Pauline scholars. So, what is going to happen to him will happen to his descendants. The struggle may be seen as a reenactment of the Eden theme. God wants humans, this one we took from another rabbi also. God wants humans to conform to his will, yet he also wants them to be free, even to oppose and to struggle with him. Mahirap mag-struggle for, no? For or against evil. Bibigyan ka ba naman ng 1 million? O sige, nati ito, ano, donation namin sa kwan. Donate, donation namin sa Bible. Ah, okay. Teka muna, ikaw ba ay pro or against uh, yung sa uh, pagpuputol ng mga puno sa Baguio? Eh, syempre, against ako. Ah, eh, di ba wain namin yung ano, yung 1 million kasi ang advocacy namin is to puputulin daw yung mga ano doon para may parking on SM. Eh, di kunin nyo kung gusto nyo. So, so, mahirap pag ano talaga, mahirap mamili uh, good and evil. Especially if, no? uh, because money, fame, and uh, money, fame, and power are very, very attractive from the very beginning. Hindi lang ang gobyerno makasalanan, pati ang simbahan, maraming kasalanan yan. No? Kaya lahat nangangailangan talaga ng conversion. At lahat nangangailangan ng paradigm shift. So, Jacob becomes Israel only after he wrestled with God. Only after he has overcome his tendency to be evil. The Torah says that there was also physical evidence of the struggle. The formerly self-assured successful Jacob is now diminished in appearance. Di ba yung mga choices natin, pwede magkaroon ng uh, physical evidences. Like sasabihin ng isa, Ma'am, 69 ka na? Sabi ko, oo, oh, I just turned 69. Ako, bakit para kang 50? Eh ako, hindi naman ako nagkaanak. Ano, ikaw nagkaanak ka. Marami kang mga, ano, mga pinagkaabalan sa buhay. Eh kung yung asawang buhay, isa pang baby, eh di na dami mo ng anak. So, marami ka, no? So, uh, marami, ibig sabihin, yung pinagkaabalahan mo, mas, mas mahirap kaysa uh -huh. mga pinagkaabalahan ko. Kaya ganyan. So, uh, nakikita, ibig sabihin, sa mukha, sa pagkatao ng isang tao, ang kanyang mga ginawa sa buhay, kasi uh, yung kanyang choices ba, moral choices, punta kayo sa mga bukid, yung mga mambubukid. Nako, 40 years old pa lang akala mo na, no, kasi nagbanat ng buto talaga, dahil sakripisyo para sa mga anak, para lang makapag-aral sa, ano, sa Manila, na maraming gadget. Na, uh, kawawa yung mga magulang pa din na hindi, hindi nila alam. Sabi ng isa eh, isang magulang, ah, Ma'am, kailangan daw ng anak ko, ano, mas maraming pera kasi bibili daw siya ng noun, pronoun, adjective. Mga <laughs> <laughs> ganun pa. So, um, the Torah says that there was also physical evidence of his struggle. The formerly self-assured successful gene is now diminished in appearance. We uh, no longer with proud, purposeful strides, but with a hesitant limb. Maging ano na siya sa kapatid niya, maging humble na siya sa kapatid niya pag magkasalubong sila. If you read on, you will see na there was reconciliation between the two brothers. The lifelong effort of, for Adam and Eve and for each one of us is to reconnect with the divine source of our creation and our existence. Ito na yung application. Kung ganyan pala, na meron tayong evil tendency, a tendency for the good, that will